usually when I do an update video I try to do it within a day or two of the original video but unfortunately in this case that wasn't entirely possible and hopefully you'll realize why. This is an update video on the TP4056 module the one that uses uh, four TP4056s in parallel to give a high current lithium battery charger and if you remember that module had one LED here a bicolor LED right near the top and uh, that showed the status of the charge and uh, whether it had completed or whether it was charging and unfortunately that LED wasn't very easy to see so I've replaced it but I've also put on an LED or two LEDs on each of the other TP4056s if you remember only the first TP4056 had any LEDs connected and therefore we assumed that the other chips were doing the same thing as the first one. So I thought it would be interesting to put LEDs on each of the four ICs and see what happened when we charged a lithium ion cell. Now this lithium ion cell on the right hand side here is an 18650. It's fairly well discharged, 3.3 volts on there. So let's get it plugged in. So red is charging and green is complete. So as we would expect, we've got four red LEDs. All the ICs are charging this battery. And in fact, we're delivering 2.14 amps into that battery. Now, when we're delivering that amount of current, uh, through here these got quite warm and they will be getting warmed up now um, they are linear devices so there's 5 volts coming in but we're only delivering 3.97 volts on the battery so 2 volts has to be dropped across the TP4056s and those shocky diodes that are on the top of the module and hence they get warm they're dissipating watts and therefore releasing heat. Now the emission in my previous video was looking at the constant voltage part of the charge. When uh, we get up somewhere close to 4.2 volts and the current starts dropping away, although it is dropping away a little bit at the moment, what happens with these four ICs? And the questions and comments I got were around the fact that if you put voltage regulators in parallel it has some issues. Let's say we had two 5 volt regulators. Well, one might be 5.01 volts and one might be 4.99 volts. And actually, all the current that was being supplied would end up coming from the one with the higher voltage, the 5.01 volt regulator. When these are supplying current, they're not worried about the voltage. However, when we go into constant voltage mode, there may be some differences in each of these TP4056s. Now over the last couple of days I've charged and discharged this 18650 a few times. This has um, about 1700 milliamp hours so it's a lower capacity battery so when I'm putting over two amps in it I'm probably charging it a bit aggressively to be honest and it's had a hard life the last few days because I've been discharging it at 1C as well 1.6 amps but that has allowed me to monitor what's been going on so excuse this piece of paper um, it's been on my bench for the last few days as I've been making notes but um, here we can see we mentioned the TP4056 ICs one two three four starting at the top one two three and four in the next column we're seeing the voltage at which the status LED went from red to green at that point the TP4056 said this battery is fully charged. In the second column here we can see the current that was still being delivered into the battery when that status changed. So as you can see here, in each and every case, IC1 finished earliest at the lowest voltage, 4.12 volts on average. But the whole module was still delivering 920, 960, 990. Between 900 and 1000 milliamps were still being delivered into the battery when the first IC said, no, it's fully charged. The second IC was actually the one that continued to charge for the longest. 
and it's charging up to 4.22, 4.23 volts. And at the termination of its charge, it was still delivering 80 milliamps into my 18650. So as you can see, not all ICs are created equal. In fact, the voltage regulation on them can be quite wildly different. Now the data sheet of the TP4056 says this 4.2 volts has an accuracy within a tolerance of 1.5%. Well that means at the lowest it should be 4.137 volts. Well this seems to be a bit lower than that. But at its highest it's 4.263 volts. Well that's okay we're still within 4.26 and interestingly, like I said, this was the first IC to quit charging and this was the last IC to quit charging. The time difference between those two ICs quitting the charge was 90 minutes. So because the standard status LEDs were connected to IC1, you would take your battery off charge well before it had finished charging, 90 minutes early because you were relying on those LEDs. So if you have ordered one of these high-powered TP4056 modules, well, I think it's worth putting some status LEDs on each chip. It certainly gives you a better idea on what's happening with each chip. Just having the LEDs connected to that first chip is an issue. It is going to cause problems unless that TP4056 in position 1 is the one with the highest voltage output. And of course it's typical isn't it, not only have I missed the point where the first IC has said no your battery's charged but the other three are continuing to charge, it's also at a point when there's a higher current but it is at that same voltage, 4.12. Anyway Hopefully you've enjoyed this explanation and this update video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.